Oh, hi there everybody, Bold and Curious here. I had a couple of people asking me how accurate the Excalibur is, how big of a groups it shoots. I never really, I never really shot it for the groups. Honestly, I don't think I ever shot it at the target, I always shot it the steel. Uh, so what we'll do today, I have uh, I have 165 grain uh, uh, bullets, my reload. We have 147 uh, Molly Cody reload, and I have a uh, uh, Winchester 147. We'll try them, and what we'll do, we'll try all three of them uh, out of the Excalibur, out of the X trim, and uh, just for the thriller, we're gonna throw in the Arsenal Striker one. Uh, nothing spectacular, uh, right there. The green thing, I got target set up right there. Uh, can you believe it? It's it's uh, end of January. It's about 45 degrees up in. Uh, upstate New York. Beautiful day. Beautiful day today. I mean, you can't ask for a nice day to go shooting. So, uh, we'll just shoot at about, I don't know, 10 yards maybe, something like that. And we'll just see what we can do. And uh, how about it perform? We'll start with the 165. Okay, so we got a five shot group, one, two, three, four, five, a little to the right, uh, I'm gonna say about two inches, wasn't exactly going for a slow and steady, uh, so we got this first five. Okay, let's, let's try the uh, Molly Cody 147. Damn Winchester primers. Okay, so 147s, Molly coated. And so I don't do the camera 50 times back and forth. We'll do a Winchester. Uh, where are these? Train, train and defend. The training rounds. Uh, so we'll shoot, we'll shoot that. I shot a 147s, Molly coated on the same target. I shot 165, and I'll shoot a 147s on the other one. Okay, so this right here is a five shot of uh, blue bullets, and this over here is a five shots of Winchester. So I noticed that 165s are really low on recoil, but I'm guessing the I guess the barrel is not long enough to stabilize them. They're kind of all over the place. Uh, not necessarily bad uh, for the action shooting. You know, because, you know, at IDPA, you're shooting at a six-inch circle, so it's not, you know, not worst, worst, uh, 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 worst thing that can happen, but, you know, I really like 147s a lot better. I might actually switch back. Let's do the same thing with the extreme. I'll just use the same target. I'll, I'll, I'll aim off to the side. One thing to note, uh, I lost my front sight. I had a Dawson Precision, 
front side and that was the it wasn't really a, a grand power side it was made for cz the dovetail was a little different and i fired a little too much and it was loose and the the dorsum had a had a set screw from the top that held it in so since i lost it i just put the old side on and it's it's too tall uh thankfully i was smart enough to call dorsum and find out they do make uh, a grand power sights which is not listed on on the website and uh should be exactly what i need so uh hopefully it'll be here next week i'll, I'll report on that so this one uh shoots a little low uh i'm gonna try to compensate with the front side for that uh, but we'll do the same thing we'll go 165 147 sub coated and 147 uh winchester <coughs> good thing is i can use the same magazines okay so these are the 165s one two three four there's one over here these are the 147 winchester again i didn't really have an aiming point so i'll call these two flyers and uh these are blue bullets one two three four and somewhere here's the fifth one as well okay uh like i said i didn't the sights off so this this grouping is a lot worse but 165s open up still more than than uh, 147s now i'll put a new target on and uh let's let's see what the arsenal so, does the same thing with the arsenal again same uh 165 147 model coded and 147 winchester uh, let's see how this thing works now this is really interesting i shot at the same distance uh i probably shot a little faster with the arsenal than i did with the with the grand power but here's a 165 this is a really nice group uh these are molly coated open it up a little bit over here that's probably me and this is 147 winchester that's really interesting hmm so you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna load up five more 165s in Excalibur and try it on the bottom here and then 147s on the other side just just for the hell of it all right it's official the Excalibur does not like 165 grain bullets uh i'm gonna actually go as far as try to get maybe some 124s and see how it does with those but this is 165 again five shot group these are 147s you can you can tell big difference uh, what really surprises me is that the arsenal didn't really care it shot both of them equally equally good <laughs> uh, so i guess draw your own conclusions out of this uh, i'm gonna order a bunch of 147s since i'm out of 165s and uh I might do this season uh, just use 147s. I mean, I switched to 155s just, you know, because they were just about the same money and, you know, you use le less powder and there's a little bit of less recoil, but, you know, in a 9mm it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, surprisingly, my uh, uh, CZ75TS likes uh, 200 grain bullets better than 180. So, I guess you can apply the same logic to all, all the calibers. Alright, as always, have fun, keep shooting.